Hi, I'm Denise Burke with Lighten Up Amputee. In today's video, I wanna talk about the study that I was just on. So I was diagnosed with synovial sarcoma three years ago, which is a very rare form of cancer. The tumor was in my foot. It metastasized to my lungs in the fall of 2018. And by January, 2018, I had 50 plus nodule, nodules throughout my lungs. So that's kind of another term for tumors, but smaller ones. So with the 50 plus nodules, they can't really do surgery or radiation. So my only option at the time was to do this enlotinib study. The enlotinib study um, is also for leiomyosarcoma patients. And in it, patients are given either a chemo drug or the enlotinib. Enlotinib comes from China and the study drug was originally used on lung cancer patients and they found that it could work for um, synovial sarcoma and leiomyosarcoma and some other cancers. So the way this worked was I had to go through some testing, EKG, blood work, all of that stuff, make sure my heart's in good shape. And then um, I was put on the drug and on the highest dosage. I took the highest dosage um, for quite a while until my body reached toxicity. Probably, I'd say I reached toxicity within about, I don't know, the first four months, I think I reached some toxicity, which means that my white blood count plummeted. And during blood work, because they see you every three weeks to take your blood, um, my blood work about four months into the study started showing really low counts. And so they had to pull me off the drug for a little bit for about two rounds, put me back on and then try the higher dose again for a bit. And then when I reached toxicity again, a couple months later, they then lowered the dose. It's a study. So that's what they want to find out. How much can they give patients before they reach toxicity and how long does it work? So it was a three week cycle, two weeks taking the pill, one week off. And I did that for the entire 18 months I was on the um, enlotinib. Every three weeks I checked in with my doctor and did the blood work. Every nine weeks I did a scan. And for me, the enlotinib really worked. The enlotinib um, bought me more time. It gave me a year and a half of relative, you know, symptom-free or kind of didn't even feel like I, you know, was... Uh, such a cancer patient, although I'm a cancer patient. Um, it just really, with, with very few side effects compared to chemotherapy, um, it gave me some quality of life and to be able to enjoy time with my kids and not be stressing all the time about my cancer. Not that I stress all the time about it, but it's always in my thoughts. Um, the enlotinib did keep things at bay. It kept um, new nodules from forming and it also kept the cancer from spreading outside my lungs and it really um, slowed down the growth. Now, my cancer cells happen to be pretty slow growing at this point, but the enlotinib actually helped to slow it even more. So for instance, my target nodule, which was around um, 10 by eight millimeters when I first started this study, um, was about 16 by 10 millimeters by the time I finished the study. So just in this last week, I've been bounced out of the study, but I got 18 months of a good run with enlotinib, and it was a great study drug. And I'm really grateful that at this point I was able to be offered, I was offered a study. Um, I guess I've just not had enough coffee today. Um, I'm, I'm really glad that I had that ability to take the enlotinib and that it was so successful for me. In addition, the um, side effects for me were just really not that major. Um, some people have really bad hand, feet, sores, and um, sensitivity, and just difficulties with this drug, and I didn't have that other than just occasionally I'd get um, kind of a little callus on my foot that would hurt, but it would go away on my week off from the drug. Um, the other side effects that I had on enlotinib were uh, diarrhea, nausea, occasional, um, lack of appetite at times, um, fatigue.